If you don't know how much you can borrow or what your property budget is, then how can you start the process of searching? With setting a property budget, there's a fine balance between your deposit, serviceability, and borrowing capacity. So where do you start when working this out? Hey everyone, Luke C from SF Capital here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how having a property budget helps you purchase your next home without any regrets. Whether you're a first home buyer or next home buyer, you are always limited by how much you can borrow or how much of a deposit you have. If you borrow too much or contribute too little of a deposit, you risk high ongoing repayments that restrict your lifestyle and other financial goals. This is especially important during times of rising interest rates like we're experiencing right now. But if you do the opposite and borrow too little or contribute too much of a deposit, you risk depleting your cash buffer to ride out any unforeseen circumstances. So there's a real balancing act to make sure you're yielding the most out of your capital without either putting yourself under financial stress or burning through too much of your cash. So how on earth do you decide? The first step is to determine your non-negotiables. These are your personal repayment budget and your savings buffer. Your repayment budget is the amount you feel comfortable repaying each month. The higher the repayment is as a percentage of income, the less you have to maintain the lifestyle you want and save for other financial and investment goals. Everyone has their unique circumstances and comfort levels. But generally, when a household is spending more than 30% of their pre-tax income on their home loan repayments, it is defined as mortgage stress. On the other hand, your savings buffer is the amount of cash you want to have left over after the purchase. There is no set amount because again, everyone has their unique circumstances to consider. But a common rule of thumb is the three or six month rule where you hold at least three to six months worth of expenses and repayments as a savings buffer. The second step is to engage an experienced mortgage broker like us. Brokers can confidently guide you through figuring out your borrowing capacity and the deposit required without submitting an application so there is no unnecessary marks on your credit file. This is particularly useful because we often see that buyers are surprised to find that they're only able to borrow less than their original repayment budget. This is because lenders assess in terms of the actual interest rate plus a buffer. And just for reference, the buffer at the time of this video is 3%, meaning if the actual rate is 5%, then you are actually being tested at 8%. The opposite can happen too though, and you may be surprised you can borrow more than your personal repayment budget. But as we said earlier, your repayment budget is a non-negotiable. So if it is lower, then it would overrule the borrowing capacity. Now that you know your personal repayment budget and how that compares with your borrowing capacity and you have locked in your savings buffer, the deposit you need will come naturally. Let's go through an example to show this advice in action. Johnny and Jane both earn a before-tax salary, excluding super, of $150,000 each. So they have household income of $300,000. They are married with one dependent, have $405,000 in savings, and their goal is to upgrade their current apartment to a house. Their current apartment has a remaining loan of $550,000 with 25 years loan term remaining. And if rented out, the proposed rental income would be $600 per week they have no other liabilities. To calculate the repayment budget, we start with their take home pay after tax, which is 17,700 per month. After factoring in 6,000 for living expenses, 2,000 for regular investment in other assets, 3,000 of regular savings, plus 1,000 contingency for their plans of a second child, they have calculated a personal repayment budget of 5,700 a month. Now let's look at their savings buffer. Johnny and Jane are both experienced professionals with stable employment. So they have decided they're comfortable with a three month savings buffer. To calculate this, they add their monthly repayment budget of 5,700 to their monthly living expenses of 6,000. Multiply all of that by three, which equals 35,000. And this is their savings buffer. As they have 405,000 savings today, Deducting the 35,000 savings buffer gives them an available deposit of just under 370,000. Next, 
Johnny and Jane speak to an experienced broker. Johnny and Jane are advised their borrowing capacity is 1.2 million to 1.35 million, depending on the lender, and assuming their current apartment is converted to an investment property. With 1.2 million of borrowing capacity, plus available deposit of 370,000, they could achieve a purchase price of $1.5 million. This is reconciled as the $1.5 million purchase price, plus stamp duty and solicitor fees, less the $1.2 million loan amount, and that equals a deposit that they can just cover with their deposit of $370,000. But for a $1.2 million loan, at the current average rate of 5% per year, the monthly repayments would be over $6,400 a month, and that exceeds their repayment budget by more than $700 a month. So instead, they revise the loan amount down to $1.043 million, which has repayments of $5,600 a month. Together with their $370,000 deposit, they aim to purchase at up to $1.35 million instead. This is calculated as the $1.35 million purchase price, plus stamp duty and solicitor fees, minus the $1.043 million revised loan amount, which equals to a deposit required just under the maximum available of $370,000, and all with the monthly repayment that's $100 under the budget of $5,700. And voila! Just like that, there is the property budget to purchase without any regrets. So, when you want to set a property budget, make sure to engage an experienced broker like SF Capital early in the process. We will help you determine your borrowing capacity and the deposit required. Then put this into perspective with your personal repayment budget and savings buffer. Finally, we will match the right lender to these figures and your ideal property. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Happy property budgeting!